Okay, it's officially summer. Today is proof. It is 90 degrees out and the humidity is like a thousand. Uh, not happy at all. Uh, it is officially monkey powder season. So if you know what that is, it's something you put on your, put between your legs and your little dirty little balls when it's hot. So you don't get swamp crotch. So I wanted to show you something. I put the apex trigger in my Glock 45 and it's awesome. Um, I did not put any additional springs in. All I did was put the apex trigger and the connector kit. So it comes with a trigger and a connector, both from apex. For me, I think that's all you need. If you want a super light, smooth trigger, and for, for bullseye shooting, then I guess you could put the spring kit in, whatever. Uh, it's a defense gun. I don't want it too light, but I just want to show you the difference between the two triggers. This is, this is my uh, Glock 22 RTF, and um, this has been around since uh, 2009. It traveled around a little bit, but it, it came back to me. But I'm the original owner. Um, 2009 I bought this and it's a 40 caliber I know 40 is like you know it's out nobody likes it but you know I, I, I don't shoot 40s very well you know I'll tell you right now it is a snappy round um, it takes a little bit to get used to before you can really drill a target with it but there's no way you're going to tell me a 9 uh, a 40 doesn't hit harder than a 9 and a 40 Definitely hits harder. It's more mass coming at you. But I don't carry a 40, so I'm not a 40 guy, but I'm not ignorant enough because I carry a nine. I'm going to say the nine does just as much damage. It's pretty hard to believe. Um, buddy of mine, Mr. 45 Bullet, brought up a point. He goes, if you ever watch Hickok 45, when he is hitting them steel targets with the nine millimeter and they swing around the tree, you see the nine millimeter hit hit them and they move, but when the 40 caliber hits them, they swing around that pipe. It hits harder, man, it hits harder. But I'll tell you what, I ain't a fan of it, especially if you got bad arthritis like me. I've been complaining about my arthritis since I've been on YouTube, but it, it's just getting worse and worse, you know? So I don't have any big caliber guns anymore. Um, the reason why I have this one um, is because uh, they don't make them anymore so and it's kind of sentimental and it runs great i'll tell you right now that is a nice 40 caliber if you like a 40 caliber glock 22 is definitely at one time the glock 22 was the cop gun back in like 2010 and on through up to i don't know 2014 I think maybe maybe 12 that was like the, one of the most popular law enforcement guns was a Glock 22 it's not a 22 it's a 40 caliber if you're new to guns some Glock model 22 well this one has the fish gills on it they only made so many of them you can't find these anywhere unless you go on gun broker and buy one that's somebody that's selling it uh, you can't buy them new so this is the original RTF uh what else do I want to tell you? Oh, let's make it safe. There we go. This is the ammo I use. See how big the 40 is? Badass. Okay. Oh. It's a fucking lighter. Okay. So I bought this back in 2009 and I put a steel guide rod in it, which I don't do that to Glocks anymore. I think if you just leave them alone, they're most reliable that way. But this really runs good with this steel rod. It's been in there since 2009 and the gun just doesn't malfunction. So uh, I'm just leave it alone, leave it in there. Um, and I put night sights on it. I don't even know if they glow anymore. Well, a little bit. So here's your typical Glock trigger. 
okay? And here is my <clears throat> Glock 45 nine millimeter with the apex trigger. So this is hot, so we're gonna make this safe. See, there's a difference between a nine millimeter and a 40 caliber. Much more powerful. Anyway, all stock except the trigger. Uh, I love this Apex trigger. The problem I had most with the Glock stock trigger is the trigger on the tip, it, it has like grooves in it and it tapers up like this. And then there's the little drop safety thing. So it goes up to a point and then it has a piece of plastic in the middle. And it's like putting a wedge on the tip of your finger and pulling it hundreds of times. It, it irritates your finger after a while. So what Apex did was they made a nice flat surface across. So when you put your finger on here, it's completely flat. It gives you a lot of a lot of uh, surface to put your fingertip on, and it's so much more comfortable. I mean, you could pull this thing, you could pull this trigger all day long. It's not going to make your sing your finger uh, sore. There it is. Now, if you want to see the installation on the Apex trigger, since you can't do that on YouTube anymore, they're probably not, I don't know. Since you can't do that on YouTube anymore. You have to go over to my Patreon page, and you can you can watch it there. But you got to become a Patreon. It's not. It's it's. I'm going to be doing videos over there, real in detail with firearms. I'm going to show my uh, my Krebs AK. If if you're an AK guy, you know how badass the Krebs is. You know how friggin' high quality they are. Uh, that was I always wanted one since I've seen a Krebs, and I just finally one day did it. I got a I got a Krebs. Uh, I'm going to show you that AK in detail on the Patreon channel. Also, if you want to see this installation video with the uh, Apex trigger set, that is also on the Patreon channel as we speak now. But anyway, I just want to show you how the difference, if you push that in a little bit, see how the, the trigger is more straight down? It's already in a comfortable position. You don't have a long finger reach. Now let me put the Glock trigger in the same position that is. Okay. Now if you look at the Glock trigger, see how it comes all the way out to here? And then it's and it's scooped on top of it. It's not a very comfortable trigger. It really isn't. And when you pull the when you pull the Glock trigger, the stock Glock trigger, okay, I'm pulling it. It's not bad, it hits a solid wall. Then when you pull through the wall, it makes the gun move. Just a little bit, because it's such a hard wall. You get the apex, hold on, I'm gonna sneeze, I got some COVID coming out. <laughs> Shit! Thank you. Now, when you pull the uh, apex trigger, it's nice and soft and it rolls by the wall. You know what I'm saying? So when I put my finger on the apex trigger, so much more comfort. It's nice and smooth. I'm gonna pull the trigger. I'm, I just hit the wall and it's barely a wall. It just rolls by it. It looks stiff. Look, that gun is steady. That's what makes you, that's what helps you shoot more accurate if you have a nicer trigger. A lot of it is you, uh, where to hold and you know. So the A, the A press trigger is definitely a winner. Um, it is made out of aluminum, so it's not plastic. The best thing about it is, it is if it's comfort and you won't get fatigued when you're shooting. You know, after you get past like 200 rounds, you start getting fatigued, that trigger finger. It, it, it prolongs that a little bit. So it's really a really nice trigger. I mean, like I said, you can make it even better if you do the uh, striker spring and all that, and you do the um, the plunger and the plunger spring, you get the whole kit. But to me, I think it's too light of a trigger. 
It's not good for self-defense. Like it's it's more for like uh, competition shooting, bullseye shooting, and stuff like that. So here's the apex trigger. See how it's straight up and down? Love it. The reset's great. As soon as you let out, right there, pull right through the wall. So I just wanted to show you guys that compared to the Glock stock trigger, I'd say it's probably like, oh, maybe 30% better. I'm not gonna say it's like night and day. It isn't, but it's a lot better, a lot better. If you wanna make it night and day and you wanna make it lighter, you, you do the spring kit. But like I said, if you're using it for your house or home defense, I mean your house or self-defense or carry, I wouldn't do that. I would just go apex with the connector and that's it. And it just, it just takes the edge off, takes the, the edge off of that wall a little bit and it gives you more comfort for the tip of your finger. Very nice, very nice trigger. I have an Aegis trigger in my, oh, I don't have it on me. I just took everything off because it's so hot. I have an Aegis trigger on my um, Glock 43. And I have to say, I don't know if I can compare that to this because this is a whole bigger thing here, but the Apex feels a little smoother than the Aegis trigger. That makes sense. But I don't know if you can compare that to a tiny gun to a big gun. It's really not fair to do that because uh, it's not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? scientifically the same you know so the trigger pull is going to be different because of you know the internals they're much shorter and smaller and all that than the bigger gun so i don't know if you could compare it with that but if i did compare it with it the apex is more comfortable of a trigger than the ages now if i had an apex trigger uh in a glock 45 and an apex trigger in a glock 19 or another glock 45 um, then you can compare them, not Apex. If I had an Apex trigger in a Glock 45 and an Aegis trigger in a Glock 45, actually, that, that's the way you want to compare them. But I can only do, can give you my experience, and they're, they're the guns I have, so that's it. Whew, man, I can't even speak today, as always. So, just letting you guys know, um the holster links under the video i'm going to mention that every video because there's still people that don't know i make holsters do you believe that some guy sent me an email he goes um do you make holsters and i i wrote back to him is this a joke i didn't mean i wasn't mean to be uh rude i thought someone was messing with me and uh, he's like no do you make holsters i'm like well yeah so right now I'm doing a job for, um, what the hell's the name? Uh, is Wex, Wex Gunworks in Florida. That's the packaging I got right now. It's not the best, but the holster's great. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P 9mm. Just to show you. This is for the full size Smith & Wesson M&P. And Great fit. I'm shipping these out to him next week, at the end of next week. Still working on the rest of the order. So I'm going to show you that. What's cool about this is, this mold I have seems to me, because this this blue gun is a Smith & Wesson 45. Okay? Well, it looks like a, a four and a quarter inch barrel. It's not the real long one. And this, this mold is for a a 40, a nine millimeter. And I said, let me see if the 45 fits in there. And I put it in, it fits. There's no drag. I mean, that's why I love those molds I was telling you about in all the videos. They're great. They compensate all the guns so I don't have to have a thousand different molds. So I just wanted to show you that. Uh, that's it for now, guys. I figured I'd share it out with you. And uh, we got 18 Patreons right now. And we gotta get that number up because we gotta get some people over there to at least get like a group of us over there where we can hang out. But I'm, I'm gonna put videos up over there because uh, as promised, I like doing it anyway. So I appreciate whoever's over there.
being over there it's awesome but um both links will be under the channel the holster website patreon if you want to become a patreon and gary Byrne will be here soon he's the he's my friend he wrote the book about hillary clinton if you didn't see a couple videos back he was the secret service agent that worked for the clintons he just happens to be a local friend of mine and uh, uh that's a really good video look through my videos you'll see it that, that's a really good video but he's going to come by and um explain uh his everyday carry and uh you know some of his secret training to let you in on some of his secrets what he does for training and all that all right guys i'll talk to you soon and check out the links see you later